Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, we are going to deploy our React app on Netrify and we are going to make use of Netrify and also GitHub. So what we will do is that we will push our code to GitHub and then we will connect Netrify to GitHub and Netrify will build the app from GitHub and the app will be uh, deployed. So the first thing that we need to do is to create a new github repository so if you don't have a github account you can go to github.com and create a new account and then you can go to repositories and in repositories you should see a, a new button to create a new repository so i'll click on new and then right here you can enter the name of the repository i'll call it react app and then uh, maybe I can also include react hyphen to do app. And then uh, you can either make it public or private. And then with create react app, these files, the readme file and the .git ignore files are automatically added. So I won't need to add them again. So I'll simply create the repository. Now, right here we have instructions on how we can connect our local repository and the GitHub repository and push the local code to our GitHub uh, repository. But before we do all this, I want us to make some changes to our React code and then we'll come back here and follow these instructions, okay? So I'll go to where I have my Mastack uh, application and we are in interested in front end. So in the last video, we deployed uh, the back end Node.js app to Heroku. So you can check that one out if you haven't seen it already. And now I want to go to the front end. I open this with command prompt by typing CMD at the path here. And this will open uh, that directory to command prompt. So CMD hit enter. So this have opened uh, that path on a command prompt and I can zoom so that you clearly see what I'm doing. I think that is big enough. Maybe resize the window and reposition it here. So I'll open my front end code on Visual Studio Code. So code space and a period hit enter and that should open that code on Visual Studio Code. So the code have been opened on Visual Studio Code and the file that I am interested in is in API and then index.js. So we need to change this URL. This URL was for the localhost. And since we already deployed our backend in the uh, previous video, we can change this URL to point at the backend that is available in Heroku. So what I'll do, I will duplicate this using Alt, Shift and the bottom arrow and then I'll comment the first line just like that and then when I come to Heroku where we deployed our application uh, I can open the app using this button so I'll click open app and right here we'll get the URL of our backend that is available on Heroku. So we need to copy this path. I'll uh, use Control C to copy the path. And then I'll go back to Visual Studio Code. And I need to replace HTTP localhost 5000 up to this point with that link that we copied from the browser. Now, if I can uh, minimize this one, You'll see now uh, this is the path. So we have double slash here. I'll remove one of them. So now this is the path for our endpoint. Okay. Now the second thing that we are going to do is to add a new file in our public folder. And this file is called uh, underscore redirects. And the reason we are adding this file is because we are using React Router in our application. And this redirects 
will help us to point all the routes to index.html file. Since in our application, we only have one index.html file. It's a single page application, okay? So right here, I'll add a new file, underscore redirect. Uh, I hit enter. And then in this file, I'll include this command, a slash and then a star. So this means uh, all paths or routes will be redirected to index so a slash index dot html and then we'll have a status code of 200 so this is all you need to do in this file so what will happen is that when we build our application this redirect uh, will be available at the root of the build so that's why we added it at the public folder now the last thing that you can confirm is that we are doing a git ignore of our node modules at this file dot git ignore okay and now at this point we can push our code to github so i'll come back to the command prompt here now right here we need to make sure that we have a git repository so i run git init uh, in React, it is usually automatically uh, initialized, but I directed it to show you how to create uh, a Git repository, Git init. So this will create an empty Git repository, but for you, you might not need to do that, okay? Now, uh, the next step is to add all the files to the staging area. So if I perform a Git status, you'll see that we have all these files which are not uh, yet committed and all you need to make sure is that we don't have node modules here and the next step is to run git add and then a star to mean all the files we add them to the staging area and then after this we we'll run this command git commit to commit our changes minus m and then double quotes and right here I can enter a message of what we changed uh, in this case I'll just say react app enter and now we have committed the changes the next step we need to to link our local repository to our github repository so if I come to these instructions you can see we have already done this git init git add and also we have committed the changes now we can create a branch a main branch right here so i'll copy that paste it here press enter and then i can copy this command for adding our github repository to our local repository so right here i'll git remote add origin and then i'll push the changes to the main branch in github so i'll copy that and then paste it here and press enter so uh, you might be asked to enter a password when you perform this git remote add so make sure you enter the password and also uh, the email if needed so that you log into github and it will allow you to do this now my code uh, have been pushed to github now i can come here and refresh this page and we should see something different and now here we have our files which are available in github and you can see the commit messages react app now that we have the application uh, available in github we can go to netrify and the first step that we need to do is to log in so if you don't have an account you can just sign up for an account but in my case i'll just log into netrify now i am logged in to netrify and i'll create a new site using git so new site from git you should see this button somewhere even if you don't have uh, any projects so new site from git and then right here you can use bitbucket github or github in this case we have used github 
so this will uh, ask us to either log in or to do something like that so that to authorize the app to github mine was automatically uh, logged in because uh, I, I created an account in netify using github now right here uh, i can search for that repository i can say uh, react i search that and then right here we should see react to do app which is this one and then uh, did I select it? For some reason, I don't know why I was pushed back here. I'll say GitHub again. Search for React. I don't know what uh, why that happened, but let's see. And then what I want is this one. Maybe I need to click on to click on this arrow. I don't know yeah now we are here so uh, you'll uh, get to the third step here and then uh, you'll select the branch that you want to deploy your application in this case we only have one branch main branch if you want to deploy it from another branch you can select that branch so at the bottom here we have the command for building our app which is npm run build and the directory that will be published is the build folder now right here all you need to do is to hit deploy now this will take some time to deploy the site and once it's deployed you can also set up a custom domain name here and perform uh, some other setup now as the site deploys we can change the name of our site here using these site settings and then um, right here we can change site name so i'll change this to something simple maybe chow hyphen react uh, hyphen to do hyphen up i think that is more readable save and now uh, the name will be changed so if I can come to this app now, we are still deploying and I'll wait for it to complete. So the site have been deployed and as I said before, you can set up a custom domain name if you want. But now it's accessible to this link. So I'll click the link. And you can see it's prefixed with the name of the app that we included here. And now here we are in our application. I'll try to log in. Uh, I'm not sure that I remember the email and the password, but let's see. So, uh -huh. and then I enter the password. I click enter. And perfect, we are now being uh, logged in right here. And you can see we were uh, collectively redirected to this home page because uh, of that redirect file that we added. And we can be able to access uh, our Node app, which is on the cloud. You can see that we don't have any local server learning. It's only this uh, command line that I have, no local server learning. This is directly accessing our Heroku uh, backend. I can mark this as done. Uh, I can edit new to do's. I can delete. And uh, when I hit F12 here, we can be able to see the console. When I come to the application here, you'll see at our local storage here, we have a JWT token. And this is the domain for the local storage. So we are successfully deploying our React app and we successfully deployed our backend and this marks the end of this entire series where we were creating a man stack uh, application uh, front end being react and redux backend being node.js and we also uh, did all the cloud operation and authentication and now we have successfully deployed the application so 
thank you guys for watching the entire series if you haven't watched the entire series i'll make sure that i leave a link at the comment section uh, below and i'll see you guys in the next video